I contacted Bank of America that handles the mortgage and asked them, can I get a loan modification? They finally got back with me and I got a, a loan modification on the table. I signed the loan modification. I went to Bank of America, signed all the documents. They wanted a $12,000 lump sum. I sent the $12,000 off to them. Then they um, all of a sudden kept saying they keep losing the papers. We don't have the papers. The bank manager redid the papers again. We sent them in. They would always get the money, but they would never get the paperwork. And so then they finally sent me back my money, saying that the modification was off the table and I could no longer get the modification. All this stuff was sent in to them. And they kept it and they couldn't find it. They couldn't find it. And I've been saving my actual mortgages every month, so I have enough to pay. This is stuff that I have tried to file in court myself. I stayed in the law library. At, at Annapolis, I would get off, especially on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays, just sitting there trying to see what to do, how to, uh, if I hire an attorney, then I won't have the money. So you're in a catch-22. I've worked hard. You know, I'm a single mom. I've raised my kids here. It's, it's my life work. And for them just to take my property, when I'm telling them that I can prove that I had the money in the bank, I'm stressed out. I do not want to worry my two sons who are trying to get their selves together or my grandson. I, I just don't want to worry them. So nobody knows that we're about to, because we're not about to lose my home. I'm believing in God, I'll tell you the truth. I'm all for the Civil Rights Council, period. Look, people are basically powerless in systems. The minute you walk through a door and you don't know what's going on, your chances diminish of getting a good result. Because you barely know where to go to room A or B. If you can walk in the door with someone who says, not only do I know a door to go through, I know what to do when I get through there. And at every point I'm gonna tell you what's going on so that you don't feel like you're the most insignificant person in a room.